What is going on everyone? Jared here from the Figure Bros and today we are taking a look at the brand new SH Figure Arts Ultraman Rising figure. Now this is from the new Netflix exclusive special for Ultraman and I thought it'd be really cool to take a look at it. So without further ado, let's get him out of the box and get right into it. All right guys, we're going to go ahead and go through the articulation of this new Ultraman figure. And unfortunately, that is gonna be the first ding for this figure. I'll show you guys. Starting with the neck, go ahead and take it apart. We have a really weird joint up in here, which is what I assume they had to do to make this work to begin with. It's really wonky, um, but I'm not overly impressed with the amount of articulation you get. It is also a it's a pain in the butt to put back together because I don't know if it'll focus or if you guys can even see that but it's actually recessed in there I'll post a picture or something but it's 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 very I don't recommend doing that because it, it's kind of tough to get back in but it goes back in um, you can get some pretty decent range back with it don't get me wrong but when it comes to looking down, I feel like it's more limited than it should be. I want that same range that we got going back because of that hinge going forward too. I mean, Ultraman turns into a giant, you know, kaiju fighting person. And he needs to be able to look down just as much as he needs to look up when he's flying. <laughs> so that's the neck. Going to the shoulders, that's really about as far as you're going to get. There's a butterfly joint that works decently well doesn't really goes back maybe just a little bit but mostly goes forward there's a bicep cut unfortunately while this is a seemingly double jointed elbow you only get single joint range very odd standard ball hinge movement that's good torso again it's just there's it's not moving it barely goes back well, it goes back a decent amount. I won't. It could go back more. But it barely goes forward at all. And at the waist, too. I mean, he needs to be moving more than this. I don't know if you guys saw the movie, but he was jumping and leaping and bending over. Again, as a guy who consistently grows to huge heights, he needs to be able to do a lot of movement. And I think it's mostly just because of all this extra plastic in here. I mean, this barely moves to begin with. So, not great. Not great. I'm trying to look in here and see if this could move, but no, nah, I don't think so. That's unfortunate. Going down to the legs, you can get mm, pretty close to a split, not terrible. His legs will kick up about that far and back about that far, not too bad. Um, there is a calf cut. Technically, you're not going to be able to use it a ton. The way the legs do drop down a little bit, so you can get. Some better movement like that, which is good. Knees are double jointed and they work pretty good. The ankle is just a standard ball joint, which works fine. Hands up about that far, back about that far, and you get your toe joint. So, articulation isn't the worst, but I feel like what could have been passed off in a regular figure cannot be passed off here. In my humble opinion but let's talk about the aesthetic the aesthetic um okay let's get this thing out of the way this neck holy crap his neck is long i mean you can get him into some poses where it doesn't look that bad but because the neck doesn't go down that far it uh <laughs> it's here it's so long my god it's just i feel like it, it's like at least 10 percent too long they could have toned it down a little bit with that neck that neck game there so but other than that the paint is great here I mean you've seen him like reflecting this entire review the paint is pretty nice the red is a little bit flat for my taste but otherwise it's very good I feel like maybe a little bit of shading but again like I've talked about before in other reviews it's a slippery slope whenever you try to replicate something animated into a figure form, because it's like, do you add a bunch of shading and make it look really realistic, or do you keep it more 
um, faithful to the adaptation in the animation, which can be kind of tough. So to give them credit where credit's due, the paint looks very good. I'm not a big fan of the neck. I do love, I don't know how well you can see them, but the eyes in there, they look very nice. I think that's cool. It looks better in person, I will admit. So aesthetic, uh, these legs, the one of the problems with this aesthetic is it's not impossible for him to stand up, but it's not very easy. All right, not bad. You know what? We've seen a lot worse. You know what? Maybe I just proved myself wrong. I've had a lot of problems getting him in the poses, but it's mostly just from the design. <sighs> I, I really want to like this figure a lot because I really like the movie. And not that this is a terrible figure by any means. It's just the few things that are not done well here really are huge gripes to me. Going through accessories, we do get an alternate pair of fist hands. Oh. So those are nice. You will need those. You get an alternate set of the salute or beam hands. So those are pretty necess uh, nece necessity. No, necessary for any Ultraman figure, of course. And then you get the alternate, um, his timer. When it starts to blink red and blue in the movie, you can recreate that, I guess. I'm, I'm never going to use that. That's just me. Accessories are a little light, but I suppose that does come into the other point, which is the price. The price for this guy is 35 bucks. He's supposed to be one of the, um, one of Bandai's more economy line figures. They do, if you don't know, Bandai SH Figure Arts does these like economy line releases of like a main character of a show or a movie, and they make it relatively cheap usually between 35 and 45 dollars but they're pretty bare bones pretty bare accessories which is what you see here and they either do a del deluxe release which is exactly what's being done here or they do a like um <laughs> a dlc like build a figure type situation where each of the other figures from the line comes with an extra you know something like a faceplate or effects or something that kind of eases the um, price pain you would feel from a normal SH Figure Arts release. So you can choose to be super disciplined and just get the main character and be fine, or as I will probably succumb to, get other characters from the lines. Kaiju number eight is about to do that to me. I'm sure this SH, the... Uh, my hero line is going to do that to me. The <laughs> uh, Demon Slayer line will do that to me, I'm sure, as well, too. And it, it's got its drawbacks. It's got its benefits. You know, $35 for this figure. Would I rather spend $35 on this than $25 on a Hasbro? Yeah. I'd rather, I, I would rather spend that extra $10 on this than get that Marvel Legends that's subpar or decent at best. So... Overall, I have some gripes with this figure, but I do really want to like it. My first impressions were really bad. My first impressions was like, this is like a 4 out of 10. As time has gone on, you know, I've, I've warmed up to him a little bit more. He's going to get a 6 out of 10. I think for a $35 release, he is a little small. I will put some size comparisons in right here. Maybe an extra, I don't know, something, some other extra accessory. I'm not a fan of the timer. I'm never going to use it. Um, Literally anything else would have been great. Something. But maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? Do you guys like what Bandai's doing with these uh, cheaper releases? I mean, $35 is not breaking the bank, but it's not exactly cheap nowadays either. Especially when, would you rather spend $35 on this or, you know, about the same <clears throat> on a regular Ultraman figure. I mean, Mezco's Ultraman is, I think, 60 right now, and it's pretty fantastic. Of course, you're not going to get this exact look. But let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious as to what you guys um, 
how you guys feel that they've been doing with this. I think it's good, but I can see where some people wouldn't like it. I don't, I, I don't hate the build a figure parts that they've been doing, but I don't love it either. But regardless, um, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. Was I being too harsh on it? Or am I not being harsh enough? I don't know. I think I'm being, I think I'm being pretty fair. I think I'm being pretty fair. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike. If you didn't like it, use those comments to let me know how you guys feel down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, 6 out of 10. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.